Hello students, welcome to my class. In today's session, let me go through conversation. Asking for information. At some point in an academic or work environment, you may find yourself struggling to understand how to complete a task. So, so you, you may find yourself struggling very hard to complete, to how to complete your task. Yes at your workplace or in your school, yes, college, at your college. This may be due to number of reasons, including being unfamiliar with equipment, not receiving proper training, or simply not knowing where things are kept. It's clear, so due to many reasons, in that they had given here, look at here, being unfamiliar with the equipments so next not receiving proper training so without training so really it's difficult to manage the things in such situation the best things to do is to ask someone for help or information so you are new to that whatever work area so you don't have that much training proper training so so try to ask whatever someone for help or information. It's better thing. So it's not a negative thing. Be positive. Approach others. So whatever the seniors and get information. You can learn it. So next term, in next term you are not going to do that mistake. You should learn. Just as a student ra raises her or his hand to ask a teacher a question. You must remember to be polite and courteous when approaching someone for help. If someone, student, so and or anyone just approaches you for asking questions, for asking doubts, be polite with them and courtesy. And when they approach towards you, listed below are a few sample sentences with question you could ask when seeking assistance. So, what's the way? Excuse me. I am sorry to bother you, but can you help me with this? It just won't open. Excuse me, I am sorry. Just asking help. This way, you need to ask help. Can you help me? Next, pander me. Pardon me. I was wondering if you could tell me the way to meeting room. So, the way. Is it clear? Hello, do you know how to use this program? I am afraid. So the way, do you know it? Is it clear? I have never used it before. I am finding it quite difficult to operate. So in such a polite way, you should ask questions, whatever your doubts, you should solve your doubts. Hi, have you any idea what the time is? Next, if they say th time, then you have to say thanks. Again, you should give uh, uh, replies. Thank you. Please excuse me. I don't suppose you know how to turn this machine off. I would really appreciate your help. So in this way, you should appreciate them. Thank you for coming, everyone. So how should it say what? It's a thanking you, saying thanks to them. I'm sorry to interrupt, but can anyone tell me where Amrit is? Asking for some person, but just saying, I'm very sorry to interrupt you people. So disturbing others, so just you should say sorry. Sir, do you know who has the keys to this room? In polite way, you should ask questions to them. And in such a polite way, even the person has to give the answer. Madam. Are you busy? I just wanted to ask you a few questions about the report and its deadline. Is it clear? Asking for information, be polite, be courtesy and ask questions to the elders. So whatever, so at your workplace or at your college or school. So whatever things you don't know, just ask and gather the information and better try to improve yourself. Because all of the sudden, in one day, you are not going to get any everything with a, a lot of tra training. 
so it should be a proper training if you are not trained properly so you should get so many of troubles huddles at your workplace so better ask information to any elders or seniors so so the way you should be very polite with them and courtesy be courtesy with them while asking whatever your questions whatever your doubts is it clear now coming to the next topic not making very very easy not making so whatever you are making not making especially your running notes yes not making making notes while listening to a lecture or while reading an article or a book is the only a very useful study skill but is also one that will help you at work so while listening to a lecture or while reading an article so whatever the important things you are writing in a book so you are noting it or the notes besides helping you remember what you read or heard some time ago so if you have that book so when whenever next time you open that book so it is easy for you to uh, remember whatever the things so it's a it brushes you like anything making notes will enable enable you to organize your own thoughts better what is that organize organize your own thoughts better this is because while making notes you will also be considering the importance of different points in the matter you are reading or listening to and drawing your own conclusion about them so so by listening your lectures uh, whatever discussion or while you are reading so just you prepare a notes so note making is very very so next time you can go through it very easy for you to uh, um, uh, re uh, recall so revise each and everything in a proper way is it clear so this is a note making necessary skills for effective note making look at here ability to read attentively very very important ability to necessary skills for effective note making so should write very neatly so read attentively so while writing your notes whatever the things you are reading just read properly then only you can prepare your good notes ability to comprehend what is read so whatever you read just to comprehend the topic ability to distinguish between important and un unimportant data so ideas everything you should distinguish for what are the important so mostly in the note making you should write most important points yes you should know what are important points and unimportant points whatever you are writing note may notes making a notes very very important characteristic features of effective note making usually written in the form of points may also be written in the form of tables charts and diagrams list all that is essential written in the form of points yes points to points wise write in a points wise may also be written in the form of tables yes charts diagrams it's is it clear so schematic representation yes list all that is essential important point just now i had discussed guidelines on making notes look at here guidelines on making notes when making notes take down the main or important points just now i said huh? write down only important points you can do this by looking for special words that introduce new information or by picking up signals received from the speaker's tone okay what were the special words whatever he is just he is using while giving lecture so just pick up that special words that whatever the terminology so write that terminology very very important new words and main important words just you have to write make a note use a clear layout with interlined spaces 
subheadings, bullets, so everything you have to mention so that you will understand the notes later. Yes, with commas, with whatever that, so subheadings, headings and underline that. So just be interline spaces, maintain a space so that next time if you go through that, it's very easy for you to understand properly. So decorate whatever your notes properly so that whatever the Organize the notes in proper way so that next time you it it is going to be very useful for you to study. So even for at the time of exam, if you open that books, so it's very at the time of examination center. So just open that book, very very easy for you to revise completely. Yes, most students they write their own notes. Of course, even the lecturer and textbooks they have. Uh, so information is there in that books, even though while pre while reading, while studying, while revising the uh, during preparation holidays. Just they maintain a notes. So at the time of center, in the time at the time of exam, during center, what is the time? Uh, the, during uh, in the examination hall. So they will law so many students just they go through that notes. Yes, at the examination hall. So that is very very important. It's organize it properly because it's very very important news useful to you in the future. So organize is very, very important. Write down important points that you identify in short form. Yes, in short form. Don't write in a yes in a long form. Just write in short form. Using words, phrases and abbreviations. Underline important words. You can either use common symbols and standard abbreviations like this. E I example. So instead of writing E X A M P L E. Write eg dot etc. etc. Next year y e a r year instead of year y r year o n e one instead of o n e one or t w o two. Write only number mentioned with number one or number two. Yes, and instead of writing a n d and write like this. Is it clear? So so many because b e c a u s c because because of that. Because spelling, write it as B E C dot. Is it clear? So everything write in short way, so that so short form in abbreviations, so that it's very easy for you to <coughs> manage whatever the organize your notes. So note making rule. What is the note making rule? So whatever the information you write, write in short form. It's a rule. So and use abbreviation, use short forms. A list of common abbreviation is given at the end of this section. Okay, let us see. Go through that. Drop all articles, prepositions, conjunctions, and pronouns unless they are necessary in order to understand the notes. Mostly, don't use preposition, articles, conjunction, and pro pronunciation. Just directly dash dash dash. Yes, something headings underline that and abbreviation subheadings. But better avoid all of these prepositions. Unless and until some, it's very necessary in order to understand the notes. It's necessary then only mention them. If not, don't use all these things while writing a note making. Use diagrams and tables in your notes to summarize information and present it in a condensed form. So schematic representation diagram. So so have a diagram, draw a diagram. So it uh, completely it use pictureizes completely about the topic. Yes, they are the tables even the tables so one can take notes quickly by using abbreviation so some common abbreviation they had given yes you know what this is and or equals what is that equal dash dash two dash does not equal dash dash that is cut that approximately equal symbol so leads to cause produces so what is that symbols uncertain possibly unproven so question mark so these are the things abbreviation symbols used instead of writing that completely that word look at here approximate o p p r o x Instead of writing O P P R O X I M A T E L Y, so it's a spelling approximately. Instead of that, write A P P O R O X. 
Is it clear? Argument. A R G U M E N T. Argument. Instead of argument, write A R G U. Is it clear? Now between B E T W E E N between. Instead of between, write B dash W. It's enough. Conclusion. Concentration. So look at here. Conclusion. C O N C L U S I O N. Conclusion. Instead of conclusion, write C O N C. For concentration also, C O N C. Concentration. Look at here. So T I O N C. So write like this. Concentration. T N. So what is this? T I O N. Concentration. Shun. Continued. C O N T I N U E D. Continued. So what is that? C O N T D. Continued. Next development. D E V E L O P M E N T. Development. D E V. Develop. It's clear. Differences. D I F F E R E N C E. Instead of difference, D I F F dot. Example. For example, E dot G dot. Especially. Look at here. Especially. P S P E C I A L L Y. Especially. E S P. Especially. It's clear, etc. and so on, etc. and so on, so etc. etc. So next, that is I dot E important. I M P O R T A N T important. I M P dot important. Information I N F O information against what is that against India versus Pakistan versus yes. Yes, India versus Australia. Something. It's a versus. With this is the one. Without. Even you can write wife of or father of, uh, daughter of, like this. Son of. Yes. So these are the abbreviations. Next, uh, date of birth. D O O B. Date of birth. Is it clear? Mm, next, just go through. Because mm, completed between. Next, uh, and so what is and? So like this. Yes. Is it clear? Mm, yes, you guys say. So many we have. Even you have your own, whatever the symbols. I'll write called C A L L E D called instead of called C dash. Called as just a C dash. Next, uh, known K dash. So is it clear? So, this is about note making. So, note making very, very important because it is very important while writing, while listening to a lecturer or while reading for your exam or reading anything, just have a note. So, it's better for you to, for next, for future use, it's very, very important so that you can revise your topic, whatever you had written in the past that you can revise uh, because it is in a written form. So you can remember it properly. Well, once just you go through. Only once is enough. Just you can. You are going to get everything in your mind. Yes. It's very very important. Just listening and just reading. So after one two days. You are going to forget each and everything. So maintain a notes. Then it's, it's very very better for you to maintain it. It's clear. If you maintain. 
in notes in future so whenever you are preparing for your government exams or your exams it's better for you to go through that so that it can very very easy for you to remember the topic so in the note making always you abbreviations and always shortcut symbols in short form yes don't go through just um, in long form just uh, short form and write in organization organized uh, organize your notes properly yes it's clear next what is the next what are the else and use schematic diagram so especially balje students so for them it's very very important to have a schematic representations is it clear okay 